Sam from DigiSearch here and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of my main techniques for generating keywords in bulk using Excel. So the first thing I'm going to quickly show you is the two different forms of concatenation. So we can start actual joining different words together and then the next one is using a substitution method. They both have their ups and downs but I'm just going to show you them both but then you can work out what would best suit you for your needs. So the first one I'm going to do is a concatenation using Excel's concatenation formula. So moving over to this spreadsheet, you can see I've got a, a list of a few locations on the left hand side there. And then I've got a couple keyword types, I guess, sitting at the top. So here we've got car hire and Melbourne. Now I want to join these. So I end up getting car hire Melbourne. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Excel's inbuilt concatenation formula. It's just going to be equals concatenate and then see it's got text one text two just separated by commas so i'm going to do text one being car hire and i'm just going to lock in b1 so lock in the one by pressing f4 twice i'm going to do a comma and then what i'm going to do is melbourne now this isn't going to work because it's just joining car hire and Melbourne. See how it's car hire Melbourne? There's nothing in between because I don't have an extra character on the end of that or an extra character in front of this. So it is literally just joining those two cells together in here. So what you do is you add something special in the middle, which would just be uh, quote marks, space, add in another quote marks, and then comma again. So the quote marks are essentially telling Excel to not look for a formula in here and instead it's just going to be text now the text between them is just a space so when i press enter it's going to be car hire space melbourne now what i can do because i've locked in the number one here i'm going to be able to drag this down and it's going to just concatenate car hire with each of these locations if you don't lock in that one i'll show you what's going to happen so if you just had it here, B1, A2, it's going to concatenate each cell on top of itself. So car hire, Melbourne, Sydney, car hire, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. It's just going to keep doing that. So by locking in the one with the dollar sign or by pressing F4, you can avoid that. Um, and it keeps it nice and clean. Now what I can also do is lock in the A here by pressing F4 three times, lock in the A, press enter again, and what I'll be able to do is drag this cell over to the right hand side, and that's going to concatenate with each of these top ones. Because I already locked in uh, the top cells, I can now drag these four down, and it will go car hire Melbourne, hire cars Melbourne, car rental Melbourne, rental cars Melbourne and the formulas updates to reference the correct cell. Now that's Excel's inbuilt concatenation. I personally never use this. Um, I find it annoying to build formulas in because the, the way it's set up, you don't get a lot of freedom in it. So what I do is I just use um, the end symbol, which essentially does the exact same thing. So what I'm gonna do is equals, I'm gonna click higher cars, Again, I'll lock in the one. I'm going to go and, which then we do quote marks to say the space. We then do and again, and then we click A2. And I oh, will just lock in the A, press enter, and you'll get the exact same thing out of this formula here as you do out of that concatenation formula. So you essentially get this without this junk in front of it, meaning it's a lot cleaner when you're looking at it and a lot easier to kind of interpret and fix up errors when you actually do screw it up. So just as before, I'm gonna be able to copy this down, copy it across and voila. That's pretty much how I concatenate I don't use Excel's inbuilt formula. 
Okay, and as I was saying before, the other method I use for bulk keyword generation is using Excel's substitute formula. So the substitution formula essentially allows for exactly what it name says it allows for. It allows you to substitute. So you can input a thing of text, and then you can tell Excel old text, new text, and it will hot swap that old text out with a new text. And so thus we can use keyword templates and substitute in the appropriate things we want to substitute in. So here you can see I've got a list of, I guess what I call keyword templates. Type location, types location, location type, type in location, cheap type in location, low price type in location, etc. So what I can do is I can substitute type for the car hire up here. I can substitute location for Melbourne the location here and to do that just press equals you type in the substitute formula and you can see here so it's got text it's got old text and it's got new text so the text is essentially this old text would be type new text is location so what i'm going to do is just press this one comma and then the old text is type now I'd put it in caps just so it's easier for me to visually see the difference uh, between what's part of the template and what's not, i.e. the S isn't part of the template, in isn't part of the, the template text that I'm hot swapping out. That's why I like to keep capitals and the lowercase separate in this instance. The type and then the new text would be up here, which would be car hire. I'm just going to lock that cell in. Let's enter. So you can see here that type has been swapped out for car hire, but we still need to swap out location for Melbourne. So to do that, we need to do a nested substitute. So we've got this first substitute here. Then we just do another one that surrounds it. So now, instead of just having that template as the text bit here, you've got first substitution formula. So you've essentially got the result of already substituting type out. So you've, this text here is now car hire location. So that's what we need to hot swap now. So the old text would be location. And then the new text is Melbourne. And we lock that one in. Press enter and press enter again because I didn't have a bracket on the end of it. And there you have it, you got a car hire Melbourne. You just bring that down here, car hire Melbourne, car hires Melbourne, Melbourne car hire. I can change this to Sydney and it updates instantly. Brisbane, oops, there you go. Brisbane, and it does that. So this is great when you're working with 100 keyword templates, 200 keyword templates. You can just quickly throw in a location and be able to easily copy and paste that whole keyword set into the Google Keyword Planner and then pull search volumes for them. Now, a couple extra things here. You could add in a third one, say keyword. You could say cheap. And then instead of using cheap down here, you could change this to keyword, keyword. See how it says keyword, car hire Brisbane? You add another substitute formula, another nested one. And you want to hot swap out keyword for cheap. Lock that in. Enter, enter. And there you go. It's hot swap for cheap. And so you can do the same thing here. So low priced. And it's going to change it straight away to whatever you want. And then if you really wanted to get a bit fancier with the formulas, instead of having type here, you could say, let's make this type. Instead of having type here, you could just have the cell text here. So we'll lock that one in. And now what it's going to do is instead of hard coding type in here, it's going to look in here. And so if I change this text to, um, let's change this to substitute going to go type Brisbane. If I change this template to substitute, 
you can actually substitute that in. So you can add whatever you want here and extend this out as much as you want. This is kind of just the basis of it. Now, using both of these, I don't do too much keyword research this way anymore. I'm basing my keyword research off this, but I'm using macros and, and some other stuff to kind of do this in even more bulk, which I'll get into at a later date. But this is everything I do still revolves around these basic formulas. So I hope you've gotten something out of this. Please feel free to leave a comment, a question, or any feedback you have. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, and thanks for watching.